Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we will learn how to make a uh, cat chasing a mouse game in uh, in Scratch. Okay, uh, I know I may I have been making four continuous program programming videos. So sorry about that. I will make a GK video next week. Okay, then uh, first of all, uh, so programming is a block based coding in uh, so in scratch we do block based coding as you can see here we do block based coding okay like this okay so i will not talk about the basics in small way in scratch because i have already uh, so because the uh, the blocks tell it all like clear so it will clear the screen like that so the blocks tell it all so i will not tell the basics in this okay because the blocks are self explanatory okay so first of all uh, so we need to delete this sprite okay so how to delete this sprite? because we want a uh, the, because this is not the type of cat that we need okay this is a human like cat okay uh, sorry wait, wait a second right right okay uh, new sprite it takes a time it takes some time to load 30 minutes 30 seconds one minute okay so wait okay. uh it should work uh, it is working it is okay so we want this type of cat this is a then this is the cat that we normally see in 2d okay obviously so this is the cat so we have the, the tool Grow, resize, delete, duplicate, like that. So I will. I need to shrink it. So I will shrink it a little bit. Uh, it is a very small. Uh, right, this this much. Okay. Uh, a bit larger. Okay. Then what I will do is when flap flipped. Okay. No, wait. I will have to add a mouse sprite also. Okay. Uh, where is my mouse sprite? Mouse, mouse. Oh, yeah, this is the mouse sprite. Okay, okay. And then I will add it. I need to make it small because the cat is looking small as compared to the mouse. So I will make it a little small. Okay. And then again, the cat will change the mouse. So we will. We have to control the mouse. Okay. So first, I, first of all, I will program the cat. So. We always start a program with when flag clicked, or uh, most of the times, okay. Uh, until we have to, when I receive <coughs> message broadcast function. Right now, we'll not talk about that. First, when flag clicked, okay. Flag when flag clicked uh, means that this flag, okay. So when flag clicked, we'll use the forever loop over here, okay. The the program in, in this. Under, the, under this block will execute forever okay forever so point towards mouse uh, point towards mouse okay then uh, uh, move uh, five steps uh, I guess five steps and I will also do uh, go to X so X means this as you can see here this is my location of my mouse pointer okay as you can see it if i move this over here okay so i want the cat in the middle of the screen so what i will do is x0 and y0 so if i run this program as you can see the the cat moves towards the mouse right okay so okay the cat moves towards the mouse at the mouse mouse is okay after that we have programmed the cat for now. Okay, level up. Cat, the programming the cat is very very easy. Okay. After that, we will use, we will program the mouse. So this is a little difficult, but I think it is easy. So we have to put it forever again. Okay, we have to. We, it will execute it foreverly. Then if then we will the if then conditional statement here. Okay, I talked about in the small basic videos. If if 
So there is a sent in the sensing block in the section sensing uh, group. There is an option. Uh, there is a block. If key, if key, uh, if uh, if key space left arrow pressed, then what will happen is that first of all the mouse mouse will point in minus 90 degree direction. Okay, because left is minus 90 degree. You can see here if I do this left is minus 90 degree then what I will do is move okay. I should do uh, this shouldn't be five steps it is it don't the cat will move very fast so I will lose three steps and for the mouse I will do five steps okay uh, it will move five steps as you can see here uh, for the oh, sorry sorry ah, sorry I have only uh, programmed the left arrow key from by now Okay, first of all, then what I will do is I will copy this whole if then statement because we have to use this again and again. Okay, duplicate. Oh, sorry, duplicate right arrow key. If right arrow key pressed, right arrow key pressed, then what will happen is that it will point in direction 90. Okay, point in direction 90. It is 94, but it's okay. Okay, then first of all, let me put this back here. Okay, point in direction 90. Then it will move five steps. Same, I'll duplicate and duplicate and duplicate. I have to do the same thing again and again. Now, if it if the, if uh, up arrow up up arrow key pressed, then it will point in direction up. As you can see, it, uh, the annotations are also here 90 means right. Minus 90 left, 0 up, 180 down. So it will point in direction 0, which is up, and it will move 5 steps. And if uh, down arrow key pressed, then it will point in direction 180. This is down, and it will move 5 steps. And I will use uh, one more thing if on edge bound. So if on edge bounds means that, as you can see, here, the, the screen has an edge, obviously. So if it touches this, Bounce touches does this, okay. So what will happen is that it will move in the other direction. I will show uh, as you can see here. If the mouse moves towards the, uh, if mouse to moves towards the edge, then it will bounce off it or bounce off it, okay. And I will also make the mouse point in a uh, go to a certain place. So I will. The cat should go here, I guess. It is fine. And the mouse will go over here, uh, right over here. Okay, so first of all, uh, when in the starting, when one fact click, it will point in direction minus 90, so it is pointing left. Okay, I think it should be here. Okay, point in direction minus 90 and go to x uh, 22, 222 and y0. Okay, and Cat when cat will all uh, go to go to x zero y zero. Oh, sorry. wait a second. Cat will go to x zero y zero. Okay. Uh, this is fine. Okay, this is fine. After that, it will point in direction minus ninety. Okay. So it points. Uh, not points towards the mouse in the starting. So that makes it easier for the user to move the mouse in the starting and I will make also make one sprite which is the game over screen so first of all I will color the background black okay background is black if it will go to x0 y0 okay and uh, is my uh, text option and I will use the red option and write game over Okay, wait a second. Game. So I use the paint option over here. This option. Okay. Game over. Then I will resize this. It is very small, as you know. Or more, more little. This is fine. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. Uh, then. This is right, okay. Game over when flag clicked, 
first of all it will go to x0 y0 okay first of all it will go to x0 y0 then for in in the starting as you know we have to see the cat and the mouse so in the starting it will hide okay the hide option is over here in the starting it will hide okay so in the starting it will hide as you can see here it, it is hidden then uh, we will use the broadcast method, uh, message option which I told that I will talk about later so first of all if uh, so first of all if uh, we will make we will do another program in this uh, we will use the same over here if then we will make use it in, uh, in the forever block on the forever block if uh, if the cat is touching the uh, if the cat is touching the mouse okay it should broadcast a message which is broadcast uh, broadcast uh, game I'm broadcasting a new message okay broadcast click on the arrow new message game over okay what is happening over here if the cat over here touches the mouse okay if, the, if it touches the mouse and what will happen is that is that the mouse it, the cat will broadcast game over so we will use the broadcast statement over here broadcast statement okay. when I receive game over okay so when when the game was screen receives uh, I will just rename it wait okay uh, so I have renamed it so when the game over screen receives the message when I receive game over and the game over is Game over screen receives a game over the, the game over message. Then what will uh -huh. happen is that it will show. First of all, it will stop. Uh, when stop all in the controls, stop all, uh, not stop all because it will stop other scripts. Me, it will stop all. Okay, first of all, it will stop all the scripts. Like this one script. This is uh, this is second script. This is third script. Okay. So it will stop all the scripts. Okay. When I receive game over, it will first of all show, obviously. It will first of all show. It is shown. And then, okay. Then, so uh, very easy. So I will also change the backdrop uh, to make it a bit, bit good. Uh, where is my. What should I do? I know. Uh, party not. Other uh, neon tunnel, okay. It is a uh, non neon tunnel, okay. Neon tunnel, okay. So then uh, it will stop all the scripts, scripts, okay. These are scripts, these, this, and this, this, all alag -alag, uh, all these are scripts, okay. So what will happen is that when it receives game over the message, when the cat touches the mouse, then it will broadcast game over and when the game over screen receives game over, it will show and stop all the other sprites, uh, scripts. Okay, and I will also move, uh, uh, use the if on, if on edge bounce statement also for the cat also. Okay, and I will do so, uh, you have, as you can see here, there is an I option over here, I will click on the I option. And as you can see here, this option can drag in player. Uh, wait a second. I will just run it first of all. Uh, as you can see here, I can drag the cat. So this would be cheating, right? So what I can do to stop this is that I will do this. Can drag in player, I will select it. Okay. Oh, it is still happening. Sorry. It doesn't work, I guess. Sorry. I will do rotation style as linear, okay. Not linear, not linear. The cat is moving in an absurd manner, sorry. I will do rotational only. Oh, this is happening, right, right. I have to fix this. Wait a second. So, what is happening over here? The cat and the mouse are appearing over the game of screen. So, what to so, so to fix this, what I will do is uh, 
go to front well go to go to the front of the screen so the mouse and the uh, cat will also hide okay go to front and okay now it should work so oh as you can see here when the mouse touched the uh, the cat is the mouse then the mouse lost and game was clean came okay so first of all okay so i know i know i have to move the cat to uh, uh, I, I will move the cat over here okay so this is fine so i will move the cat over here because it was first very close so go to x uh, Go to x minus 193 and minus 4. Okay, now it should work. Oh, please work. Yes, yes, it's working, working, working. Oh. I know there is a problem here when I uh, press the uh, left arrow key and the up arrow key or the right arrow key and the up arrow key or the left arrow key or the down arrow key uh, like that. Uh, the mouse moves in a diagonal manner. So I I think I can fix this by using this by using the rotation style as linear. So let me see if this works. I don't know if this will work. No, it is not working. Not working. I have to fix this. Sorry, it will not work. Not work. Okay, okay. So um, I have made the made the this is done. Okay, I made the program. The game is done. Uh, Thank you for watching my video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And from now on, I will make uh, I will make videos on Saturdays and uh, on Thursdays and Fridays. Okay. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And I will make a GK video next time. Bye.